like this. <laughs> Go. I'm at the doctor's office. Checking on my back. I want it. Close with me. It's not right, Chloe. High five. High five. been one crazy crazy day okay first on the list let's talk about my back real quick and then I'll tell you the other big problem that we have back they think it's got something to do with my nerve um, it's pinching like a nerve my back's pinching a nerve supposedly I don't know full details but I'm going Friday to see a neurologist and then hopefully they can try to pinpoint my back Today is probably the worst day that it's ever started to hurt even more. I don't know why. I haven't done anything differently, but um, it hurts. So I'll keep you updated on that. High five. And then now our new dilemma. Um, as you guys know, that Adam's life has been cursed for months with bad stuff happening. Well, we got cursed again. I'm going to show you real quick. Walk over here to the earth sink. Watch water. Water. Nothing. Why do you guys not have water, Adam? Why? Because downstairs in our basement, a pipe that leads to our main meter sprung a leak. That's right. We had the city come out and shut the water off. And I have to call a plumber in a couple hours to come out and look at it to see if um, we have to dig up our front yard. That's just great. Ati's gone right now. She went uh, with Danielle's parents home. Chloe's passed out, but uh, Ati went over there so she can take a shower before she goes to school in the morning. And uh, me and Danielle are here trying to figure out what we're going to do because we have... Uh, a broken pipe downstairs so backs hurt and pipe is broke so the curse lives on with Adam's life you guys been through you've been through it all with us high five I really need to win the lottery just need to win the lottery anybody good plumbers out there the comments downstairs in the basement want to come over and help fix us it On a side note, I want to read you just some weird news real quick because I find it disturbing. <sighs> this man right here, Mr. Timothy Lee, 34, Springfield, um, I think it's Massachusetts, yep. Oh, he lost a basketball game. Um, his team, okay, his team lost, I should say, because he was the coach. Uh went to the winning team's coach and bit his ear off. What is this dude? Mike Tyson? Um, <laughs> he, he bit the ear off um, because they lost. I mean, that's, that's good sportsmanship, I guess, right? Now, you, my friend, fail. You bit somebody's ear off because you lost. Like, you're a sore loser. That's my question for you guys today. If you guys lost at something, even something a lot bigger than a, a basketball game, would you bite somebody's ear off? I don't think I would ever bite anybody's ear off. I mean, that's just, take the loss, dude. God. <sighs>